Okay, we're back. Let's do some math. First, we're going to subitize. Are you ready? Red and blue, snap. Six. Can you subitize that? Four. Can you subitize that? Two. Can you subitize that? Three. Ooh, tricky one. Five. Oh, that one's really hard. One. Can you subitize this one? Three. How about this one? Two. Good job. All right, let's look at our shapes. What shape is this? If you said circle, you are correct. What's this shape right here? Square. What's that one? I'm listening. Somebody say it. Triangle. Ooh, that looks like an egg. It's an oval. Oh my goodness. Do you remember what that one is? It has six sides. It's a hexagon. How about this one? This is the one my, heck my class had trouble with last year. Rectangle. How about this one? It's an oval. And the last one, oh, it's that one that has six sides again. Hexagon. And our new shape is a rhombus. See this word rhombus? It looks like a diamond, and you might have called it a diamond when you were in preschool, but the kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, all the way to 12th grade name of that shape is a rhombus. Can you say rhombus? It has one, two, three, four sides. That's a rhombus. Okay, we're going to go back to our binder so we can trace our rhombuses. Give me one second, I gotta turn the light off so we can see better. Okay. We don't have any dotted lines on our rhombus, but we're still going to trace all of them. Grab your highlighter and let's trace the big rhombus. One, two, three, four. Do you see another rhombus? Oh, I do right here. One, two, three, four. Ooh, here's his other, another rhombus. It's his other fin. One, two, three, four. Oh, I see another one. It's his part of his tail. One, two, three, four. Here's the other part of his tail. One, two, three, four. Does anybody see another rhombus? Ooh, don't let this one trick you. That's not a rhombus, that's a triangle. Let's count how many rhombuses we have. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody make a five. Pull down, circle round, put a hat on top. All right, since we have room on this page, grab your pencil, please. And we are going to practice our numbers one through five right here at the top. Remember, yesterday I showed you how to write the numbers with the song Chant and Write. Here we go. Down and you got 
and across makes two. Up around, down, and across makes two. Number three is simple to see. Number three is simple to see. Draw two humps sideways and that's a three. And that's where we're going to stop today. Okay, don't miss the read aloud story. It's about a spider. And don't forget to do your attendance when you're all done. See you tomorrow.